get uh, the pleasure and the honor of meeting here uh, Professor Mildred Dresselhaus. So we took this opportunity to talk about science, but also to talk about uh, the, the, the scientist life. Hello, Millie. So, um, uh, first question I would like to ask you is um, how did you get into the field of physics? How did you fall in love with this science? What, is, what are the things that are uh, catching more your attention about this uh, world? Yes, well, I, I uh, got into physics or pointed toward physics at quite a young age. Um, this was even before I started high school. And, um, and it had to do with making a decision about which high school to go to. Because I grew up in New York City, and New York City had one high school in the very big city, only one, which is a very small high school that was very special, that had a, a strong academic program. Uh, and uh, my neighborhood school was very poor. So uh, I found out that there was such a school that was very special, and uh, I found that out through my musical activities. So, uh, uh, and then I desired very much to get into this uh, school, and uh, so I had to work to get in. Because when I saw what the examination involved, it had nothing to do with anything that I had learned in my own school. So. That meant I, had, I was behind, mm -hmm. so I, I had to make some effort. And uh, so the effort was uh, mathematics, uh, and the examination was mathematics and English. So it wasn't physics yet. Mm -hmm. This is pre prelude. But physics. mathematics is a gateway to it, physics. It is the gateway, and it's a gateway when, when our children are in their pre-teens, mm -hmm. uh, and that, that's what happened to me. So. Uh, and the only way to, to have a chance to, to do this thing was to do the study myself because there wasn't anybody uh, around that would help me. So, uh, and then I found out that I really loved this stuff because I didn't have a teacher. I, I just had to do it myself. I just had problems to solve. And uh, so I worked on the problems until I understood them. And uh, so that was my first uh, uh, falling in love with, with science. And I did pass the examination, and I did go to the school, and uh, physics was one of the required courses. Mm -hmm. So I got introduced to physics there, and I graduated from that school. And, but it wasn't the clear trace to uh, a science career was not there, because that was not a time when women had careers in science. So when I went to college, I went to college to be a school teacher. Mm -hmm. But luckily for me, I was so well prepared for college mm -hmm. that I could do the courses for being, becoming a teacher mm -hmm. and courses that I was interested in for science. So you do the double work uh, yes. at the same time? Yes, mm -hmm. because it, the, the, the courses were very easy for me. And we had many required courses, so I could take those without too much work. So that's how it started. Mm -hmm. And the rest was a uh, uh, role model. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that both, both of these uh, factors affect so many people that, that enter into a scientific careers. It's the love for the, the, uh, the work. And the second thing, some kind of existence theorem with somebody who's done it before you and showing you a way. So I think that that's really what my story is. And uh, then when I started college, I, uh, my second year, I met a Professor Rosalind Yellow, who got the Nobel Prize for medical physics. And uh, but she would she couldn't get a job, so she was teaching at this college. And uh, so we met, and she convinced me that I should try to uh, have a career in science, like she had. And I did that. So that's how, so, we, how it started. It's good. Uh, I mean, uh, so we have to thank uh, this professor for having us. Yes. Uh, well, uh, yeah, well, we've been in touch for all these years. You know, we kept up all these years. And, uh, you know, it's